Hello my beautiful tulips! I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week. In today's video, I am going to be giving you guys some ideas for some small areas. I hope this video helps you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So I'll let you guys continue watching the video. So these are the items that I'm going to be using in this build. I also forgot to add these stalls but I'm also going to be using some stalls in this build. So I'm just going to be waterscaping this area just to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this little area is going to be like a little record shop. So I'm not sure what happened in this clip, but I just added some festival garland. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I added a guitar and then some records and a path. So I wanted to add a little sitting area, unfortunately this area isn't that big and I also don't want to mess with my natural river just because like I mentioned in some of my videos, I really like my natural river so I really don't want to mess with it but if I would have had more space I would have added more detail but unfortunately this area was a little small so I'm just working with the items that I have. So I really hope that this little area helps you with your little areas because sometimes we have little areas that we don't know what to add. So I hope this really helps you and gives you an idea of what to do. So this is the final look for this small area. Feel free to take screenshots and take this to your island. So I really hope this helps. So for this next build, these are the items that I'm going to be using. I also couldn't add the wedding welcome sign but I also used that. So this little area is just going to be like a chill sitting area. It's going to have some zen cushions, some log benches, and it's going to be really cozy. So I'm going to go ahead and start waterscaping just a little bit just to extend this area. Most of the areas that I did in this build are pretty small so if you have those like annoying small areas and you don't know what to do, I suggest you take these ideas, take screenshots, take inspiration and yeah I hope this helps and I will continue with the video. So the wedding welcome sign wasn't the only thing I forgot to add to the list. I also used some moon pies and I believe it's called the 12 grape dish but I'm not quite sure. You don't have to use all these food, the exact same food items that I'm using but these are the food items that I use. There's so many other options that you can use. So now I'm just going to be adding a couple flowers and a garland. So now it's time to add the bigger decoration. So I'm going to be using the garden wagon and some trees. I really like the idea of this tree. It just makes it more like hidden and cozy. So then I went ahead with these Stanley custom coats and I just feel like they just added the touch and then I added the wedding arch and I started picking up these items so I can start working on this area as well. So let's go ahead and ignore that I was putting some custom designs down and they were going anywhere else but where I wanted them to go. So I did this off camera but I just fixed this corner to add this custom design and then it was the fun part. I was adding these teddy bears on top of these zen cushions and they just look so good on top of the zen cushions and ended up adding the goldfish as well. I just really really like how the goldfish looks 
and then I started adding a couple more items around. So now it's time to decorate this area. For this area, I just used a bunch of colorful flowers. So now it's time to just add a bunch of flowers and bushes because flowers make everything look amazing. So as you can see, I was fighting with this simple kettle. It just looked weird and awkward there and then I placed it again and it went exactly where I didn't want it to go. But I ended up placing it here. It just looks really good. I came over to this side and opened up the typewriter and then added that. It just looked really, really pretty. I wanted to add this hedge, but it just took a lot of space and it blocked like the rug. So I just ended up taking it off. So I went ahead and added this lock stool and then added this on top of it. I wanted to add the mom candles but it just looked crowded in this area so I ended up taking again off the simple kettle and then putting the mom candles here and that just looked really really good. And then I placed the simple kettle back and now I'm just going to add a bunch of flowers and then show you guys the results of this little area. So for this last area, these are the items that I'm going to be using. Really simple, it's just the bunny day planter, the picnic basket, and a log bench. So you're going to go ahead and use your favorite rug, add the log bench on top, and then just add the picnic basket on top. And then I'm just going to be adding some flowers and some custom designs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, feel free to subscribe and join our little community. Hopefully, one of these ideas helped you. But yeah, bye everybody. Bye.